Let's have calm bodies and focused minds as we take a silent moment to look at this image. We can zoom into each corner so you can see it more clearly. Think about the things that you noticed. You didn't just see them, they really caught your eye. You thought they might be important. Also, what did you wonder? Typically, we wonder how, what, who, if, why, when, or where questions. For this image, you might likely be wondering what or why. Share with an elbow partner using the sentence starter, I notice or I wonder. We'll hold on this image to give you 50 seconds to share your thoughts. This painting was made by a man named Theo von Doesberg in 1917. He called it Composition 9. In this project, we're going to wonder if paintings like these or stained glass like this could be representing numbers. What do you think? Could this image be of an amount, a number? What if, instead of using numbers, our number system was based on how much space a shape occupied? This could be one, and this, five, and this, ten, but what about this, twenty-seven? Hmm, this system could be a problem. It's hard to know if this was twenty-seven, or twenty-five, or maybe twenty-nine we may need to use more predictable numbers in our system. Fortunately, the first two place values in our current number system really are predictable. They are ones and tens. So a 10 plus a one makes 11. A 10 plus a five makes a 15. If you understand bigger numbers, you can make your art have larger numbers like this one, which shows 46. Of course, it wouldn't have all the tens and ones written on it. Since 10 is such an important number in our system, we should really think about what shape it could be. The only rule is it has to take up the same amount of space as 10 ones. We could arrange 10 into an open rectangle like this a closed rectangle like this, or a long skinny rectangle like this. Oh, what if we wanted to make it into a U-shape, or a square with a bump? What about stair steps, or a T, or any other shape that you might like? Before we make some art, let's look at two art vocabulary words. Symmetry is the quality of being made up of the same parts facing each other, as you see in the first three shapes. Or they could also be facing each other around a point, like the last example. In this example of 18, there is no symmetry 
and also no overlap. None of the shapes are sitting on top of each other. Do you find this image interesting? Now this image has symmetry. You could fold the left side over onto the right side. And now the symmetry seems to come more from the center. In this funny example of 18, there's no symmetry, but now we have overlap. Some of the shapes are on top of others. What do you think this could be? This thing reminds me of something from outer space. So your creative challenge is to make a shape artwork that accurately shows a number that you choose. Most kindergartners are learning numbers up to 19. First graders, up to 99. And second graders, 999. Of course, don't feel limited by your grade level. Do the number that you understand. I have an example for you. Notice how this image can be folded two ways. It has two directions of symmetry. It's also a number larger than 100. Do you know what it is? I'll give you a hint. The blue strips are tens. So what do you think? Is there a chance that these artists might have been showing us numbers in these artworks? I leave you with this creative challenge. Create a shape artwork that shows a number you choose. Enjoy!